Have you ever wondered how to get the best interest rate on your next home loan? Has neighbor Bob been over recently to tell you about his 2.5% he received recently on his latest refinance? And you wonder, how can I get that too? There are three ways that you can help yourself before you hit that submit button to make sure that you get the best interest rate on your next mortgage. All it takes is a little bit of homework. And if you're willing to do the next three steps before you apply for a mortgage, your chances of getting the best interest rate on your next home loan greatly increase. Hey, if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Tammy. Welcome to the channel. I'm a full-time mortgage loan officer and I love helping people help themselves to make sure that they get the best interest rate, the best home loan that fits their scenario every time. So follow along. The next three steps are gonna help put you in the position to get the best interest rate on your next mortgage. So step one of getting the best interest rate on your next mortgage is know your budget and know your plan. Now this may seem obvious to some people. Let me just expand upon this a little bit. You know, these days we're able to formulate a plan, a structure around a mortgage like we we've never been able to before. Let's say for example, you know that you're going to retire in 12 years. We can actually refi your current mortgage with a 12 year amortization term to make sure it paid off exactly at the time you plan to retire. Telling a loan officer that information up front helps us help you plan your life the way you want. Now let's say you're a first time home buyer. Have you gone through your monthly budget? Have you really figured out what's comfortable to pay? Not only now, are you expecting a family in the near future or planning one? Leave a little bit of a buffer there to make sure you are comfortable with your monthly payment, not only now, but in the future. Also, how long will you be in this home? Maybe you're refinancing, but you know you'll be moving in two to three to five years. Let's go through the break-even point on a refinance. If you know you're moving quickly, it may not make sense. By giving your loan officer these types of details up front, how much is your monthly budget, when do I plan to retire, when do I plan to move, we're expecting a family, how long do I plan to be in this home, we can structure this loan be exactly what you need, which is a win-win all around. All right, let's get into step number two. Step number two in getting the best interest rate on your next mortgage, check your credit before you apply. There's much more to checking your credit than just those numbers, just your score. Mortgage loan officers these days use what is called a FICO score. Fair Isaac Company has their own scoring system and this is the one that lenders use when determining what tier you'll fall into, which also determines your interest rate. So if you're using a credit monitoring system like one that your credit card reports, maybe a Capital One, they may only be reporting one bureau. What do I mean by bureaus? There are three credit bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian. The FICO score is made up of all three of those bureaus. How and where do you pull a report? Well, for the purposes of a mortgage, there are two places that I would recommend you get a report. One is myfico.com. Now, FICO is the FICO we utilize to determine what risk tier you fall into when we determine what rate you can get, right? So that's a great place to start. The other is annualcreditreport.com. Now, this is the only one that is authorized by the federal government right now to allow consumers to get a free credit report every single week until April of 2021 during the COVID season we're in right now. And you should take advantage of it. Does this give you your score? No. There may be a fee requested to actually get your credit score. But before we get to score, let's just talk about a few things that we look through a credit report. Do you have any late pays? Are there any judgments out there you don't know about? Is there any misinformation on the report? If you come across any of these items this is something that you're going to want to handle before your mortgage application submission. How do you do that? If you're looking for step-by-step in-depth help on navigating a credit report, please see other videos we have. We'll put them in, this, in the description for you to help you clean up your credit report before you apply. This is very important. Now a note for first-time homebuyers. Make sure that you have three trade lines. 
This means that you have three accounts which report to the credit bureaus. Maybe it's a car loan, a credit card, a utility bill. We recommend that you have at least three to five trade lines before you apply for a loan. Quick and easy ways to get another trade line if needed are to become an authorized user on a family member's well-established credit card or apply for something called Experian Boost, which not only gives you a little bit of boost in your credit, but allows self-reporting of things like cell phone payments, for example, which will ultimately help you get another trade line and help boost your score. Step three in getting the best interest rate on your next mortgage is shop around. We all know shopping around is best in many scenarios when buying the next gadget, computer, refrigerator, but one needs to make sure they do that as well when it comes to mortgages. The easiest way to do this with a click is by going through a mortgage broker versus a banker. What do I mean by that? Mortgage brokers are a little bit different than walking into your local bank. One of the advantages you have when you work with a broker is that they have access to hundreds of different banks slash investors through a software program so we can do some easy quick shopping and comparing for you. This requires that we pull your credit only one time. We have many different options at our fingertips. Rebates, pricing specials that might be available right now for specific scenarios or loan types you wouldn't otherwise be aware of had you just walked into one particular lender. Secondly, if you call one of those big internet companies that you see advertised online, you're calling a call center. So I'm sure they're hardworking individuals, but they are paid per app that they take, meaning to get your information and they move on to the next. When you call a mortgage broker, oftentimes they work in a very small local office and their reputation is everything. You'll find that mortgage brokers strive to have lifelong clients that they can serve over and over again through all seasons of life. If you happen to be in the states listed below, give us a call, we'd be happy to help you ourselves. If not, we're happy to refer you to someone we know and trust. In the meantime, I hope this information helped. By doing just a little bit of homework before you hit the submit button, it greatly increases your chances of getting the best interest rate and being put in the best loan scenario possible for your stage of life. So if you got value out of today's content, please hit the subscribe button so we can share more with you. And we'd love to hear in the comments questions you have or what videos you'd like us to make next. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.